So my name is Sarah Wetmore, last name is W-E-T-M-O-R-E. -E. Um, my TK number is 11580, member of the 501st for almost a year. So tell me, uh, what is the 501st? How did it start and why should people get involved? So the 501 is a Star Wars costuming club and there are multiple costuming clubs. There's the Rebel Legion, those are the good guys. 501st, bad guys doing good is our motto. And then we have the Mandalorian Mercs and there are other clubs like the Droid Builders, Saber Guild, all kinds of things. And we're basically a group of fans that are so passionate that we create our own screen accurate costumes that we then use for charity events. So we'll go to hospitals, we'll raise money for different groups, and um, throughout the year we do parades. It's just a great organization. Highly recommend going to our website, um, 501st Legion. We'll get us, if you Google search 501st Legion, you'll find us. Now tell me why you joined it and why do you love it? So ever since I was a little girl, big Star Wars fan, like everybody probably watching is a big Star Wars fan, and I always loved the TKs. Those are the original stormtroopers from A New Hope from 1977. So one of my dreams had always been to build one of those. So when I was old enough to kind of get going and things like that, I want to join the 501st. And you can join before you have a costume. You just can't be approved until you have an approvable costume. So I just finished my TK a few months ago, so I am approved. I also have a Jawa costume, which I also have approved too. So um, it's really fun. It's a great group. Tell us again how people can join the group. You can join by going to the website and um, just clicking on become a member or interested or contact me. Any of those things will get you people that will be connected to you and you can join that way. Tell people, even if they don't want to dress up, but they want to help an organization, how can they How can they donate? How can they help? Um, the best way to do it, you can donate from the website. There's a way to donate there, I believe. Um, but another way to do it is just find us at one of our events that we go to. Like I said, every big charity will have us there. Every big parade will usually have us there and we have a way for you to donate that way um, boy getting involved without becoming a member and um, you can come and help at events as we need hands just to do you know things that are not necessarily a legion but just helping hands can help you and remind people again how to, how to find your website if you just google 501st.com or 501st legion you'll find us Hello there. So tell us who you are and what this great nonprofit is about. Yeah, uh, my name is Ryan and I am the executive officer, vice president in Earth terms of Sunrider Base of the Rebel Legion. The Rebel Legion is a group where, to put it simply, we dress up like Star Wars heroes and go to kids' hospitals. It's a lot of fun. You might be familiar with our sister group, the 501st Legion. They're sitting next to me at this booth. Um, and yeah, Sunrider Base covers uh, Los Angeles, Orange County, and Lynn Empire, sort of the northern tier of Southern California. And yeah. So tell me how people get involved and what all the activities are. Uh, so as far as activities, any sort of community event, uh, charity walk, fundraiser, hospital visit that would benefit from some Jedi and Rebels and Tusken Raiders showing up and what event wouldn't benefit from that. Uh, on rebellegion.com you can request us to make an appearance. It's completely free. We don't charge for appearances. Uh, we're just here to support causes. As far as getting involved, it's as simple as uh, having a Star Wars costume. We strive for accuracy. There are standards, but we love to help people meet the standards. Um, we love to help people learn how to craft. I didn't know anything about making costumes before I joined, and now I've got like a dozen of them. I do Luke Skywalker, that's why I'm stuck with this hair, uh, several other characters. But yeah, uh, rebellegion.com also has a really great forum that's an excellent resource where we've been compiling information on these different costumes for over 20 years. And that's definitely the place to go, no matter where you are in the world, uh, everywhere, from England to Israel to Australia to Asia, to wherever. When did you hear about it? Why do you want to join it? And why do you love it? Ooh, I love that question because when I was 10 years old, uh, at the second Star Wars celebration ever held, I met the Rebel Legion and I met the 501st Legion and I just, I couldn't believe that I didn't have to stop playing dress up when I grew up. And then 10 years later, almost to the day, I did my first event as Luke Skywalker and like I saw myself in those kids, you know what I mean? And I just, I wanted to give back. That day, I told my mom, when I grow up, I'm going to do this. And she was like, yeah, you absolutely will. And that's how I ended up here. Tell us how you feel when you go to these charity events. Oh, man. I mean, 
if there's anything that feels better than going into a kid's hospital room in the pediatric oncology ward and handing them a lightsaber and telling them that the force will always be with them, I don't know what it is. I don't know what could be better than that. Um, the only thing that I could think of is maybe meeting the love of my life while dressing up like Star Wars characters, which is exactly what happened. I mean, I got engaged at a Rebel Legion meetup. I, it's, it's just the, the force has permeated every part of my life thanks to this club, really. So people like what you guys are doing. How can they get involved as a member? Or how can they also help just donation-wise? Um, so donation-wise here at Comic-Con, we're collecting for uh, Starlight Children's Foundation. But usually our, our charity work is, is more of an outreach thing. So we'll show up at your event. If you're organizing a charity event and you want us to come, again, rebellegion.com. If you want to join, also rebellegion.com. Just check out our forum. And if you happen to be in the Southern California region, uh, Search for the Fulcrum Initiative group on Facebook. That's kind of our onboarding thing. We have meetups where we get together and work on costumes. Let's say you want to make a Jedi, but you don't know how to work on a belt. There might be somebody at that meetup who makes belts for a living, perhaps, who can help you with that. And that's an excellent resource. So if you are local, San Diego has them as well. Uh, the Fulcrum Initiative is the way to go. And tell us how you can find your you can find your organization in the social media and internet. Uh, Rebellegion.com. I think we're official Rebellegion on Instagram. The Rebellegion on Facebook. I mean, Rebellegion. We're the good guys. this great nonprofit is and what do you guys do? Sure, absolutely. So we are the Mandalorian Mercs. Uh, we are a Star Wars costume club which, with chapters all over the world, um, including Japan. Um, we just had somebody from Hawaii come, uh, the, uh, South America, um, all over. So Europe, we have members all over the world. And basically what we're about is we are here to educate everyone uh, to build Mandalorian armor. And so that's one of um, the things that we really focus on, teaching people how to either 3D print or um, shape and mold uh, using different materials to build Mandalorian armor uh, because we believe that um, when there's more Mandalorians, it, it, we're stronger together. And so some of the work that we do is once you create your, um, your costume or your kit, we want you to actually use that armor to go out and do and inspire other people. So we do a lot of charity work. We work with hospitals, uh, libraries. We work for all different types of events and really want to bring the Mandalorian spirit to everybody and inspire them uh, in any way that we can. When did you hear about this organization? Why do you want to join? And why do you love working with this organization? So I heard about the organization back in 2018. Um, and when I saw them doing a lot of work, I saw a lot of really cool Mandos. Um, and so I wanted to build a Mandalorian armor, so I got inspired with that. Um, when I put together my first suit of armor, it wasn't quite up to uh, the expectations that the, the club uh, wanted, because basically the club wants everybody to be at their best and always continually improving. So um, technically, even though we have a set of armor, I have a approved armor, um, we're always in a state of constant improvement. We're always trying to fix it, get better. And so the way that we do that is we have armor parties that work together uh, to do that once a month. And so with that, um, with the armor parties, we, we are constantly pushing ourselves to improve our own skills or to learn from others and to really uh, work with the, uh, and collaborate with other members. And so once we get our armor up to working condition, then we go out and we do a lot of charity work. And so um, I just recently got approved about two years ago, and um, I've been loving it ever since. How can, how can people find you and join your organization? Glad you asked. So if you go to www.mandalorianmercs.org, uh, you can, that will be our main site with all of the different chapters from across the world. Um, if you would like to request our appearance, completely free we do a lot of volunteer work and if you have a charity event or some type of event that you would, would like us to appear at you can um, make an uh, account on the mandalorianmerch.org um, website and then post uh, requesting our presence there if you are looking to make armor you can um, once again make an account and then post 
on the introduce yourself and we'll get you in uh, contact with a local chapter that will get you started with uh, making your own very your own very set of Mandalorian. Items. And tell us the website one more time. Sure, it is, and I'll show it to you. So it's MandalorianMerch.org. And if you are local to San Diego, look us up, Haran Galar Clan. Uh, we're also on Facebook. We have a Facebook group there as well.